This message is from David. Um, the person asked, um, I got this impression that a compromised um, peroneus longus and tibialis um, posterior went hand in hand in case of an ankle instability and heel pain, which seems to be the case for me. Um, peroneal muscle should be examined as examined that they often contain active trigger points and tibialis posterior is involved. In my case, I often have mild to severe Achilles tendonitis in the morning, which improves as it warms up. When running, I power through the affected um, calf um, compared to the good leg. I tried to find fur further info, but drawing a blank. Can you comment on whether this makes any sense or not? And thanks, you, thanks for any suggestions. Um, if you're having problems with Achilles um, area, one area I would definitely want you to look at is uh, the soleus. Um, the soleus muscle is just um, the trigger point for that area that will actually refer pain to the heel um, and then just right actually down the Achilles tendon area to the, um, the calcaneus area is just when you find, find the Achilles tendon and you, then it stops and it actually becomes more muscle and that's the trigger point that you want to concentrate on the most. And for ankle instability, um, the proneus muscles, there's three of them, proneus longus, proneus brevis, proneus tertius. Those three um, are really big into stabilizing the ankle and if you had a lot of sprains or uh, problems in the past with your ankles, um, that can cause a lot of problems. So, and all three of those muscles for the trigger points will refer right to the lateral um, malleolus region, so right to the lateral ankle area. That's where it will refer for pain-wise. Um, so if you're having any of those kind of problems. But if you have any problems in the arch or the, the top of the foot, um, the muscle that typically is with that is the tibialis anterior for any kind of pain. But um, um, stabilize, um, def definitely, um, it helps with the proneus muscles. Um, tibialis posterior, um, not as much what I've heard about, but the proneus muscles are big, especially um, with sprains. Um, it can be damaged over time. And sometimes um, somebody might think they sprained their muscles, but it, it might not even be just the proneus muscles that you, um, you strained them instead of um, spraying that area then. So those are just um, co um, common causes uh, with that. But again, the soleus trigger point um, I definitely go after that a lot, um, just to see if there's, um, you know, for if you have any calcaneus kind of problems, um, it definitely helps out a lot uh, for me too, and stretching that area beforehand. But the only way to really truly stretch the, um, the soleus muscle, you know when you're standing against the wall, and then you're kind of leaning forward, um, and you have one, one leg totally straight back, but instead of have that legs totally straight back, have it straight back and then bend your knee is what you do. But that's how you're stretching out the, the soleus muscle the best then. So um, try those different options. And again, with the proneus muscles, um, the easiest way to find the proneus muscles is um, it's totally lateral on the lower um, shin area. But it's like a rope it almost feels like. So you just go up and down there. So that, again, there's three different trigger points. Um, one for the proneus longus, one for the proneus brevis, and for one for the proneus tertius. But all three of them, again, will refer down to the lateral ankle. And if you can build up the strength in that area, I think it would be the most beneficial um, um, for building up the strength then, okay? And any comments, suggestions, anything else um, you guys have run into, uh, please comment below. Thank you.